Hello, my name's Ashley. I'm one of the founders of Skira. I'm here to uh, show you what's new in the latest stable release of Construct 3. Let's dive right in. Uh, first of all, um, one of the biggest new features we've got in this release is you can now, at long last, directly build a signed APK for Android. So APK is the application file uh, for an Android app. And now when you export for Android, you have the new option to build a signed release APK. So this is the kind of thing you can upload directly to the Google Play Store. You can choose either an existing key store that you've created before another way, or you can now create your own key store. When you do that, you should read all the warnings very carefully because uh, it's a very important, it's the keys uh, to be able to publish your app. It's, it's, um, it's not something you can lose, you have to take very good care of it, so uh, be sure to take care with that uh, key store file if you um, make your own. Next up, uh, we've got achievements are now supported in the Xbox Live plugin, so if you are uh, developing for Xbox or Xbox Live, um, there it is, uh, you can now use achievements. So this comes down basically to the update achievement action here, uh, where you can essentially uh, grant someone an achievement. Uh, this is really important if you're on the ID at Xbox program uh, because achievements are a requirement to be able to publish your game. That's now supported, uh, so that won't be holding you up. You can go ahead and uh, publish your games. Uh, next up, uh, we've made some changes to how the sort of add to home screen process works. That's where you can get an icon on your desktop. Um, so the changes haven't happened in Chrome yet, but they're coming. Uh, I've got a pre-release version of Chrome here, Chrome Canary, uh, to show you what the difference is. Uh, essentially, in the past, you, would have, you might have seen a notification in red at the top of the start page saying, uh, here's what to do to add to home screen. Uh, now this will appear in the menu, and you can see there's a new install as app option. Uh, which will appear if Chrome thinks that you're interested in the app, which hopefully you are. Uh, if you click on that, it will uh, offer to add this um, to your home screen, which you can see they've now called Install App. Uh, and if you install that, it becomes a um, uh, a web app. This is their new desktop PWA support, and you can see it looks a lot more like a traditional desktop app. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Um, Something else which is new, on the start page there's a new ability to uh, preview projects directly. So you can see there's a new preview button here, and you can click on that and it will preview the project right off the bat. And this should make it nice and quick and easy to, uh, especially if you're new, you can just go through all these examples and uh, preview them quickly and easily and see how they work. So that should be fun. Finally, uh, there's been several improvements to the new C3 runtime. This is a new whole rewrite of the runtime of Construct uh, for more features and better performance. Um, we've ported some more plugins to the C3 runtime, such as uh, the Xbox Live plugin. Um, and there's lots of new optimizations, which we've blogged a bit about recently. So you can go and read in detail on our blogs about how all of this has been done. Uh, and so there's two blogs actually, there's one on the Construct blog here and there's one on my blog. Uh, and you know, the TLDR is you can see how we've uh, done lots of changes which have significantly improved performance in certain cases. So this, uh, the C3 runtime should now be even faster than we first announced, which is pretty cool. Now, um, lastly, there's been a bunch of bug fixes as ever. Um, especially for the new Edge 17 release, which has come out in the uh, what do they what do they call it this time? Uh, the Windows 10 2018 April update, or some combination of those words. Um, so, if you, in particular, if you've been using Edge and you got the mouse cursor stuck on the weight, then uh, that should now be fixed. And there's a few other fixes for Safari and particularly iOS as well. So, hopefully, everything's working a bit more smoothly there. Uh, that's all I've got for you uh, in this update. As ever, if you want the full details, you can go onto the uh, releases page and you can go and get stuck into the uh, full change logs for the releases since R98, which was the last stable release. All right, that's all from me for today. Until next time, goodbye.